Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about Google, which is a search engine that deploys web crawlers around the internet, looking into sites, indexing them, caching those information. And what you can do is you can do very precise search rather than just based on keywords. So you can search specifically for files, for information on a particular site, for specific keywords that must appear so that you get precise information and results coming back from your queries. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So over here, I got a Windows operating system running. And of course, it can be any operating system as long as you can boot up a browser. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome, for example, and I'll go into Google.com. So of course, Google is a huge search engine and it has a lot of web crawlers crawling around the internet looking for really interesting information that could really help you find out specifically what you're trying to get. So one of the really interesting search terms is about how we can use a combination of making sure that we got to the right person. So we can actually use the double quote. So when you enter the double quote, this would actually force a compulsory and mandatory result. So when you click on search, it will search specifically only for Loy Liang Yang, no other combinations of it. So with this hard requirement on searching, you could search specifically for this person and you will reach into this person's page or it could be a company and so on. And the next thing we can look at is also in terms of looking for or. So perhaps you're looking for ethical hacking and you're trying to learn about ethical hacking or you're trying to learn about penetration testing. So of course you can enter ethical hacking and you can put a or sign and you can actually put penetration testing. So what it would do is you would actually have a hot check on both ethical hacking as well as penetration testing. So it's either ethical hacking or penetration testing or both. So if it shows up on the website, it will actually show up here immediately over on the search results showing both of these two key combined words. And of course, there's also an N capability. So if you put, for example, N, you can actually look over here and this would actually do a hot search. So you will search both ethical hacking and penetration testing must come out as part of the search result. So of course, in this case, on the first one, you can see that ethical hacking is showing as well as penetration testing that is showing. So immediately you will get into all this information and details coming in from the search term. So this is a hot requirement, whereas or means that either one of them can show up in the search term. So this is really a useful way of looking at for information. And of course, there could be specific information you want to find out regarding a particular site. So for example, you want to look for potential cash. So you can actually enter cash and say, for example, we want to look at some of the sites. So perhaps you want to look at, say, some of the courses that are available like medium.com. So we can put cash and we can look at medium.com as the site. So it will show just the site for medium.com as well as the cache available and you can go into the cached information. So in the cached information, you could actually see details that could have been published a while back or you could actually specify it as a web server administrator and you could remove all these cache functions coming from the web crawlers. So likewise for here on the second result, we can open up in a new tab for the cached results. So likewise, the administrator has disabled it. And of course, we can also look at some of the other sites here too. So of course, moving forward, we can also look specifically for sites. So of course, one of the very popular sites is Nullbyte. So of course, when we enter Nullbyte, we can actually look up the site. So the link is Nullbyte dot wonder how to dot com so this is a great site and of course when i go into the new tab of it i can actually copy the link and when i go back into my article hacking or penetration testing and i can actually indicate the site that we are trying to search for so we can actually enter site followed by the url or the domain name of the site and we can click search. So it will only search for sites coming from nullbyte.wonderhowto.com. So for example, there is a part one introduction, how to create a lab for Android penetration testing and so on. So all this comes alongside with the keywords from ethical hacking and penetration testing or from penetration testing that must show up as part of the page so that you can get the results that you want to see. So likewise here, you can see all this information coming in from. So of course, moving forward, there's also file type. So for example, if you're looking for books, looking for 
content that are PDF related. So we can actually enter and specify file type and we can enter PDF, for example. So here we have a crassapproved.org, a guide for running an effective penetration testing. So we can open in a new link and it will load as a PDF file because we are looking only for PDF files. So here we can look at the crassapproved.org and we can see all the content regarding the book. So likewise, it could also be, for example, on Microsoft Word document, which is DOCX. So when you hit enter on that, we can actually see here we got a first one security audit and penetration testing and I'm going to click open link and new tab again it would ask me to save the file and of course I could save it and once it's safe I could actually open up the file so once I click on it again likewise here we can see the information security audit and penetration testing scoping questionnaire so again these are some of the questions that you can look at really really useful in terms of finding out documents information they're really looking for and of course, there's also other items like, for example, we want to look for a site that is related. So we can enter site and we can enter the relation. So we can enter related to, for example, now byte. So if we go over here and we can copy the URL again or domain name, copy that, paste it here, remove the HTTPS and we have the domain name, click on search or we can remove some of the keywords like article hacking. So related. So for example, now we can enter related and we can see some of the pages that are related to nowby.com, for example, or we can actually specify wonderhowdo.com. So there's instructables.com, howtodothings.com, lender.com, udemy.com, and so on. So this is another way for you to find other resources that are related to this particular domain name. So of course, we also have in URL. So in case you're looking specifically for information, so we can enter in URL of wonderhowdo.com and we can say article hacking. And again, this would also pop up relevant content, how to become an article hacker, how to build a beginner hacking kit with Raspberry Pi tree and so on. So a lot of great information coming in here directly that could be really useful for you to find out more details about it. So another way to look at it is also in terms of the in-text. So it's not just in URL, but you can also find in-text. So in-text means there is there any specific text inside the specific page that you're looking for that has, say, ethical hacking. So again, this all this information could be really, really useful to help you find specifically for text that has ethical hacking inside the page. So of course, here we have EC Council. So here's what is article hacking. And of course, when you open it up and if you do a control F, you can actually see all this information coming in too. So really useful content and the keyword and parameter to use. So it's not just about using Google search engine, but also what about Microsoft Bing, Yahoo, even Shodan that you could use to actually search specifically, not just for results coming back, which are text based, but what about devices? What about Internet of Things? What about cameras, security cameras, CCTVs, and so on? And all this comes from the result of all these multiple search engines that you can utilize. And of course, we'll be discovering and exploring them on future tutorials about how you could actually get all these results coming back to your computer and be able to compare the results and see which one gives you the most accurate. And you could actually uncover even more information coming in from all these search results. So I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.